Can we get like a brief explanation? This is like 38 minutes. I've been in touch with a family member who tells me they are not ready to go on camera yet because they are still trying to process her death after desperately searching for her. Marina Rogers was reported missing on December 7th, not long after she was last seen with friends. And police down in Las Vegas say detectives suspected foul play early on into the investigation. Friends and family of Marina Rogers have spent the last two weeks spreading this flyer online in hopes of finding the missing Linwood woman. Sadly, Rogers' trip to Las Vegas took a devastating turn. She would never make it back to Washington alive because her remains were found in a desert area of Henderson, Nevada. Las Vegas Metro Police say these two are responsible. Why did three different people just type HDMI cord? That's what he killed her with? for murdering Rogers. They believe Rogers was out with friends on the night of December 5th when she met another friend, 19-year-old Sakari Harnden, and Harnden's boyfriend, 27-year-old Chance Comanche. Rogers was never seen or heard from again, but police say they had enough evidence to look into Harnden and Comanche. Harnden was arrested and booked into a Las Vegas jail for kidnapping. Meanwhile, the FBI arrested Comanche two days later in Northern California. He was dropped from the Stockton Kings basketball team on the day of his arrest. Comanche was booked into the Sacramento County Jail and is pending extradition to Nevada for kidnapping. However, wait, Las they're saying that th th that that couple kidnapped them and murdered? Vegas Metro says charges for both Harnden and Comanche will be changed to open murder. As for wait, 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 let's read this. We gotta read this. We gotta read this. We gotta read this. Oh, let me read this. On December 7, 2023, approximately 3.30 p.m., two individuals walked into, uh, okay, Las Vegas police uh, station to report Mariah Ro Rogers missing. Through the course of the investigation, detectives, detectives learned that, Ro dude, this is so blurry. If I'm, like, not reading this good, it's because it's so blurry. Learned that Rogers was out with friends on December 5th and had prearranged meeting with her friend Sakari, who would bring her boyfriend Chance. Since then, Rogers had not been seen or heard from. Earlier in the investigation, detectives suspected foul play and obtained evidence to arrest uh, Harden. I don't know what that says. Harden? And her boyfriend Comanche in their role the kidnapping and disappearance of Rogers. Hamden was, uh, uh, was arrested in Las Vegas... And booked in the uh, Clark County Detention Center for kidnapping. Comanche was arrested by the members California FBI criminal apprehension team in Sacramento. Penny, uh, extradite, okay. Based on information obtained after the arrest of Hamden and Comanche, detectives were able to recover human remains in a desert area in Henderson, Nevada. The remains were later identified by the Clark County to be Marine Rogers. Detectives determined that uh, Hamden and Comanche were responsible for the murder of Rogers. The charges for both individuals will be amended to open murder through coordination. Dude. Wait, it was a threesome and she got jealous? Bro on that Mayweather reading level. As the charges for both Harnden and Comanche. Okay, someone said there was a threesome that got jealous. I don't think that that's real. I was next door. I heard the... Yo, get that guy out of here, bro. You were not... This is what we're not going to do, bro. You're not about to troll about this shit, bro. Someone died, bro. Yo, this is... Bro. Nah, bro. Some of you are actually... I swear to God, bro, there's actually people who really don't understand, like, this is real life, bro. They just think shit on the news, shit on TV, shit on fucking uh, Twitter. It's just, it's just nothing. We got a report right here. Uh, report, former NBA G League player Chance Com Comanche confesses to strangling murder victim with HDMI cord.
Former Sacramento Kings guard, uh, G League uh, player, Chance, reportedly admitted shocking details in the Vegas murder of 23-year-old woman named Marinian Rogers. According to the arrest report obtained by Fox 5, Comanche revealed to investigators that he, the 19-year-old woman by the name of Sakari Harnden, hatched a plot to murder Rogers. Harnden and Comanche initially were planning to have a third party kill the victim and plotted the idea via group chat, via group text. I told my dog the whole plan, Comanche wrote to, to Harden on December 2nd. According to the police report, an, un, an unnamed party referred to as Trey asked Comanche that he, uh, what he wanted to do to the victim. That's when Comanche replied with a coffin emoji. After there was an issue of potentially finding a gun cop, uh, cropping up on December 4th, Comanche responded with a sinister alternative. I can snap her neck. Nah, dude. Dude, what the fuck am I reading, bro? What the fuck am I reading, bro? Mods, if any stream, like, is live, or if someone's talking about another stream, yo, go here, do this, someone's live, can you please permaban them, please? I, I, I don't see anybody... I don't see mods taking care of this. And it's really fucking concerning, bro. Please permaban them. Uh, there's a summary. People are in custody tonight. They are accused of plotting the kidnapping and the murder of a woman who was visiting Las Vegas. One of the suspects was at one point friends with the victim. The other, an NBA G League basketball player just released from his team. 19-year-old Sakari Harnden and 27-year-old Chance Comanche are facing murder charges. Fox News' Mike Allen joins us now to explain what we know about the case tonight, Mike. Yeah, Kim, Jacqueline, I talked, I, I should say, I read through the entire police report tonight, and that included text messages sent between the two suspects talking about different ways to kill. 19-year-old Sakari Harnden and 27-year-old Chance Comanche have both been arrested, each facing an open murder charge in the death of 23-year-old Morena Rogers. Police found that Harnden was upset with Rogers after she told mutual friends that Harnden recently provided information to police, resulting in her boyfriend's arrest in California for a separate double murder case. The report says Harnden contacted her ex-boyfriend Comanche, who was a basketball player for the NBA G League Stockton Kings. The team released him in the wake of his arrest. Together, they began plotting the kidnapping and murder of Rogers, as seen in text exchanges. Comanche started a group chat with Harnden that included a friend, identified by police as Trey, who asked what Comanche wanted done to the victim. Comanche responded with a coffin emoji, and Harnden with two peace sign emojis and a white dove. Trey eventually declined to be part of the murder plot, but Harnden and Comanche continued planning. Comanche suggested getting Rogers drunk and mixing rat poison in her drink, or making her overdose on drugs, adding, there's a lot of ways to kill people. Eventually, Harnden told Comanche to sit in the backseat of her car while they picked up Rogers, and pretend to be a trick, which is slang for a solicitor of female sex workers, which multiple people in the report said both Rogers and Harmden were. Comanche talked about methods of killing, saying he could do it from the back seat, like how killers do it in the movies. On December 5th, Comanche- This is the dumbest murder I've ever heard in my fucking life, bro. You were just straight up texting this? Are you, like... What the fuck am I hearing? Dude, guys, I'll put it like this. Anything that you ever texted, uh, any social media, email, anything, the fucking government, the FBI, the CIA, whatever the fuck, they will literally find it. They will literally find it instantly. You can go throw your phone in a ditch or think it's Breaking Bad, snap your phone in half, buddy. This isn't, this isn't a movie. Your shit is done. Okay? It's over with, bro. She played a game for the Kings at Dollar Loan Center Arena in Henderson against the G League Ignite, 
Security cameras caught him after the game leaving his room at M Resort and getting into Harnden's car. Roger's friends recalled dropping her off to meet Harnden in that car and reported seeing a stranger in the back seat. Cell phone data shows Harnden, Comanche, and Rogers traveling to a liquor store and then to a cul-de-sac, which is where Comanche and Harnden both strangled Rogers, according to information Comanche disclosed in an interview with police. He said afterward he and Harnden drove a short way into the desert and buried Rogers' body under rocks next to a road. Comanche pointed out the location of Rogers' body to police during his interview, and shortly afterward, her body was recovered. Reporting live tonight, Mac Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Harnden has been charged with one count of open murder in Clark County. RIP to the victim, that's fucking so disturbing. 